Hi, it's us, Sarah here, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are reading nonfiction books. And if you have followed my other book videos, or seen my posts on Instagram and TikTok, or follow my Goodreads, you will know that I really don't read nonfiction very much. But here I am. I am reading three books in this video. Maybe I'll do a bonus book, but I am doubting it, so don't get too excited. <laughs> and I'm going to take you through it. Okay, I finished this book and I loved it so much. Five stars. Five stars for sure. It was so good. Obviously, look at this. It was so helpful for me. There were so many things that I just like agreed with, so many things that like were helpful, so many things that touched me, so many things that are gonna be helpful for me to use and it is just so interesting. Let me find a quote to read to you. Advancing from novice to amateur can break the rethinking cycle. As we gain experience, we lose some of our humility. We take pride in making rapid progress, which promotes a false sense of mastery. That jump starts an overconfidence cycle, preventing us from doubting what we know and being curious about we, what we don't. We get trapped in a beginner's bubble of flawed assumptions where we're ignorant of our own ignorance. It, I had, it took me a long time to read this book and it's a very short book. Like it's like not even 300 pages but it took me weeks to read it because it was it just i really wanted to really understand it i really wanted to read through it i might honestly write a little bit of a book report on this because i want to understand it better and be able to express it better to people isn't that crazy that in school we wrote book reports and we hated it well not everybody but i didn't love it because we had to, it was homework and now i might be doing it on my own like that's crazy this other quote i highlighted was what we want to attain is confident humility, having faith in our capability while appreciating that we may not always have the right solution or even be addressing the right problem. Like, it just is so crazy how good this book is. Changing your mind doesn't make you a flip-flopper or a hypocrite. It means you were open to learning. So simple. Like, read this book. Read this book. All right, so I am now currently reading this book. This is All Boys Aren't Blue. This is a memoir manifesto by George M. Johnson. I am about halfway through. This is a super fast read. It's also super interesting, so you wanna keep reading it. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I will give you a review of it when I'm done. finished reading All Boys Aren't Blue. Wow, this is such a good book. I 
have obviously not lived a life similar to him by any means. And it was so interesting to get to see what his life was like. It was devastating. It was beautiful. And I highly recommend reading this book. It is a great book for people who are experiencing similar things to him, but it's also a great book for people who aren't. It really opens your eyes to the privilege that you may have. I know I have the white privilege and I just could not imagine living a life similar to his and I highly recommend it. I also started listening to this on audio. This is my husband's copy, which I'm also welcome to read, but it's so big that it almost feels intimidating to read physically, so it's kind of nice to listen to the audiobook. I also enjoy listening to his voice, so um, I might read the book still just because the pages are really nice quality. They're very different book pages. If you ever get a chance to feel these pages, like at the bookstore, you should because it's super interesting. Um, Man, just like, this is such a pretty book. It is, it's really nice quality. <laughs> it does kind of make me want to read the physical one. But obviously, if you don't know, this is Barack Obama's, what's the word? Autobiography slash memoir. I, I get confused with those. I think it's an autobiography. I am enjoying it so far. I'm not super far in, um, but it's told by him. He's the narrator, so it's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed Michelle Obama's autobiography. They're just great storytellers. They have such interesting lives. They are wonderful people. They're amazing human beings. I strive to be like them, and I am loving this book so far. This book was just wow. There were parts where I definitely found myself being bored and I kind of wanted to just like skim stuff and whatever all. And there were other parts that I found extremely interesting. I learned that I don't think that I'm into books about politics. While I do want to understand politics and I want to understand what's going on in the world and the current events and I want to vote and all those kinds of things, I think I don't want to read about all the details of it, but there were plenty of parts that were really interesting. It's so neat to see the process that goes into these things, the people that are involved and how the president really isn't the decision maker in a lot of things um, and they don't even come up with all the ideas they have a whole team of people who really support them, especially if they get a good team of people to help them. And it seems like he really did. He was so proud of his team, the people he worked with. He loved, he just loved what he did. He loved being the president of the United States. I loved hearing about fatherhood and his relationship with his daughters, his relationship with Michelle. And it was just a really cool book. And while there were parts that I was bored, there were plenty of parts that I was interested as well. And I'm so glad that I read it. So that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do another video similar to this or something different. I love kind of going out of my comfort zone and trying new things. So let me know. I hope you guys take care and that you're doing well. Bye.